I don't think I'll ever stop being amazed seeing such incredible pieces up close. One would certainly hope not. Huh. Huh. The contrast between the deep and vibrant red of her hair and softness of her lips gives a most feminine and tender appearance. Mm -hmm. Her uh, lustrous eyes focus their attention to something in the distance. Mm. The subtle and yet powerful halo circling Mary's head. What else? Huh. A new perfect complexion as I have seen before. What do you gentlemen think of this particular piece? Can it really be? To a layman, perhaps. I'm afraid it's a complete fake. No. Such eloquent and delicate work. Very observant, but that doesn't make it authentic. You know, even Michelangelo himself was an art forger in his early career. See if you can spot the telltale sign of a forgery. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The face of a young mademoiselle is unblemished. Ah. Uh. Kraklu on the uh, turban. Oh. Kraklu on the dress. The crackler is inconsistent across the painting. Surely a sign of a cheap imitation. Very impressive, detective. Unconvincing aging is one of the most common giveaways of a forgery, whether it be in the cracula, the smells of chemicals used to artificially age the painting, pigments that haven't dulled with age. Sometimes it's as simple as the materials used, just not existing at the time of painting. The trustees were quite excited by its arrival, but it didn't take me long to identify its faults. Quite the detective yourself, Mademoiselle Warbeck. Please. Call me Evelyn. If there's one thing I've learned in the short time I've spent with the detective here, formalities and politeness are essential. They are a cornerstone of modern civilization and must be upheld. This city could benefit from more gentlemen like yourself. Now that the etiquette of our greetings has been decided, shall we finalize preparations? I was hoping you'd say that. The exhibition area needs to be secured. I wonder if you would be able to lock the remaining doors for me? I'll lock the west wing door when I'm finished there. And if you could tie this ribbon around the handles of the main door for me, I'll leave it outside. If securing the exhibition room is what Mademoiselle Warbeck requires, that is what shall be done. Okay, so first thoughts. I think this game is a bit more laggy as I remember it to be. Um, yeah, the same point of view from the to from the top, like deduction. Yeah, okay, there is some uh, parts where you actually have to think about, but the game itself is pretty linear. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's also not very classical detective adventure game, so... Yeah. Detective Poirot, have you ever seen something so beautiful? Monsieur Hastings, everything has beauty. It is only how the individual perceives it that defines just how beautiful. Yes, I suppose you're right. Oui, I am. 
Mademoiselle Warbeck requested I prepare a ribbon over the main exhibition room door before the grand reveal. Once I have done that, the restoration room door shall be locked, and our work, for the moment at least, is complete. Well, let me guess. This will be, like, stolen or something. Master key. Detective Poirot, have you ever seen Monsieur Hay? Yes. Okay. Oui. Mademoiselle, once I have. Well, there's nothing to explore here. We can go inside. Uh -huh. The door leads to the restoration room. Oh. Miss Warbeck did ask you to make it look pretty. One shall complete the task to the degree it is requested. Symmetry is the key, you see. Oh yes, I see. Everything is now ready for the arrival of the guests. I assume you have the list of guests? I am afraid not. It would usually be an essential part of my preparation. In fact, it perturbs me that there is something I did not have time to prepare for. Would you like me to find Miss Warbeck? There may still be some time to check the list. Look, there's Miss Farquhar. With Miss Babinin. Seems that they became fast friends after the incident on the ship. Intriguing. Intriguing how? Speculation, monsieur. Nothing more. That head of yours is just constantly full of thoughts. Who's this? I have no idea. But she's sure to turn heads with such a fetching dress. I quite agree. And who is this dapper-looking gentleman? Mon Dieu! Wait a minute. Is that... Well, I never! Poirot, you devil! Forgive me. Where are my manners? Detective Poirot. Uh, the, the character from the... Um... First cases. Goodness, Monsieur Demir. Uh, Poirot is more than adequate for an old friend. He saves my family from near ruin, uncovers a murderous plan, and still has the modesty to not correct a buffoon like me. Allow me to introduce myself. Heavens, uh, my manners appear to have been replaced by surprise and excitement. Uh, forgive me. Monsieur Demir, this is Monsieur Arthur Hastings. You've got yourself a partner now. Well, any friend of Poirot's is surely a friend of mine. Monsieur Hastings has been kind enough to show me the sights of London. A more than adequate guide. I would take that. It's as often as a blue moon you see Poirot handing out approvals like that. And what is it you do, Mr. Demir? A previous field medic, Monsieur Demir now finds himself working for... With... Pardon. With his brother, doing most honorable charitable work all across London. Need I say more? Could everyone gather together for a photograph, please? Would you all move a bit closer together for me, please? I didn't realize we were going to be in the newspaper. Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just want the camera to get my best side. Okay. If everyone is ready. So, Poirot, what on earth are you doing here anyway? My orders were to see to the safe travel of the centerpiece of the exhibition, the penitent Magdalene. Monsieur Hastings here travels with me covering any administrations and insurance requirements. Art protection? That's a bit beneath the great Hercule Poirot, isn't it? Especially protecting it from this lot. Perhaps you would be so kind as to introduce us. Ah, where's the fun in that? We have to make sure those... What's it you call them again? You are referring to my little grey... Little grey cells, yes? Ah, that's it. I've been playing a little game. I've been trying to find a painting to match each of the guests. At least the ones I'm acquainted with. I wondered, Poirot. 
Do you think you can ascertain which paintings match which guests? Ah, oh, I can give you a little info, but you'll need to make your own inquiries. Tell them about the woman in the gold dress. Miss Irene Courtsmile. She is one you'll want to keep your eye on in the future art scene. Born and raised on a rather affluent estate, she turned her back on her parents in her teens to start a new life in London as an artist. We're already uh, acquainted with Mademoiselle Farquhar. She's a very nice young lady. Oh, really? Interested, are we? I was only making a comment on her nature, nothing untoward, I can assure you. Bishop. Or as we are all meant to refer to him as, the Honorable Reverend Horace Mountjoy. He's a man of the church. I'm not sure what else there is to say. If you're wanting to keep the lectures to a minimum, I'd avoid admitting to anything that would even be considered a sin. fine-looking gentleman. Ah, Mortimer Aylesworth. If you've not heard of him, I'd get familiar with the name. Eton and Cambridge educated, he followed in his father's political footsteps, and has already surpassed them. It is nice how they all not talking, just standing there and looking quite um, frustrated. The couple. Johann Christiansen and his glamorous wife, Betty Allen. Betty Allen, the actress? The very same. They've been here in London for a few years, although she still plays down her boldness for British society, even with her recently taking a new role in the theatre. She did not take his name in marriage? Allen is her maiden name. Works as her stage name, too. A lot snappier than Chris Jensen. And his employment? He's a partner for a private bank in London. He has told me what he actually does many times before. And many times, I forgot. You will no doubt already know our host, Evelyn Warbeck. We have already made her acquaintance. Very pleasant, if not rather flustered by today's exhibition. That's everyone. Well, there's Mr. Hastings here. I'm sure we shall get to know each other better. And our mystery woman. Anastasia Babana. We met briefly while traversing the channel. Look at you, Poirot. Got a love interest of your own, huh? Monsieur Demir, must I remind you of why I am here? No. No need at all. <laughs> I know your strictly business. Let's see what you can do then. And come back to me when you know enough about the guests to solve my little mystery. So now it's talking round. So, have you any thoughts on my... Well, yeah, we don't know anything yet so there's nothing to interact with uh, beside characters I guess so it's like talking around can we go there huh no. locked perhaps there's alternative route aha a Jean of Arc a true uh, underdog who led her countries Predominantly male military. Everything seems to be running smoothly. You've done a sterling job. Everything except for the bishop and the other trustee stooges. It was never going to be easy going up against them. All men of a certain age, not used to the idea of change. But they didn't get their way this time. And with my exhibit coming up, this place will finally have a showing they can be proud of. And the quality the museum deserves. Mademoiselle Cot Smythe believes her upcoming exhibition will change the perspective of the trustees and the public. I get the feeling she enjoys the accolades and being the center of attention. Detective Poirot, 
You're looking much happier being on solid land. There was a moment when I thought that wretched sea would get the best of me. Well, I'm certainly glad it didn't. As am I. Please, do not allow me to disturb you, madame. Adieu. <laughs> Adieu. Hmm. So. Hmm. Clearly, this subject has an unreasonably high sense of their own self-importance. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Not like the modern tripe Miss Warbeck insists on bringing into the museum. Oh, the Lord will not look fondly upon her choices. I would hope one's choice of art would not affect one's chances for a better afterlife. Let's hope not for her sake. Perhaps I should tell the bishop to calm down from whatever this bothers him so. Okay. I should lead them to it. Mm -hmm. A mechanical model of our solar system with the planets all revolving around the sun at the center. Incredible, isn't it? And to think we are all located on that one small planet, revolving around an all-encompassing star. <sighs> oh, to think of all the suffering. I give what I can to charity, but what this country needs is someone willing to put the poor first. Oh. Okay, so we can't talk. Is it a clue, like, uh, when I click on the portrait or the painting, the character that talks should be resembled with the painting? Is that correct? Is it a clue or it's just at random? So I can't go anywhere inside. It's all blocked off. I'm well aware of where we are. I just want to make sure I'm looking my best for the photographs. And people call me the drama queen. A beautiful painting of a parable of the gods, uh, good uh, Samaritan who showed mercy to an unknown traveler who had been stripped and beaten. The huh. worker bee, a busy little insect, tolling for the good of of the hive. Kind of like unusual painting, no? Uh, looks like I can access more paintings in the northwest corner of the room left of the staircase if I'm not mistaken. Why can you access them now? That's the question. Perhaps it's not the best time. Okay, we can go upstairs. Oh. Uh -huh. Can we talk with them? He's enjoying himself, I'll lead them to it. Okay. Judgment Day. I didn't see those. The wild horse. Hmm. The wild horse being restrained by a British soldier. Ah. A rather old testament is depiction of the day of judgment. It is a great pleasure to see you again, mademoiselle. I've been looking forward to us bumping into one another. Thank you again for your help. I must admit, I feel almost tormented that I was not able to uncover the identity of the thief. All that matters is that it was found. If you'll excuse me, I really should get on. This article isn't going to write itself. I moan, but it's my love. My obsession, you could say. How dare you! 
That might be something you say where you're from, but not here. Not to me. What a waste of champagne. I thought this was supposed to be a civilized event. Ah, you are right, mademoiselle. I, I hope you did not spill any champagne on your gown. Don't worry about me. It's only that wretched man that has got some cleaning up to do. His suit and his mouth, by the sounds of it. Do not allow this to ruin your day. I have no intention of allowing such a thing. In fact, we have business to discuss. It would be good to at least schedule a time that suits us both. Monsieur Christiansen and Madame Allen have returned. You are to be the focus of Mademoiselle Farquhar's article. Miss Court Smythe here is the next big name. And she has been kind enough to offer me an exclusive interview. Madame Allen has left via the exit. But Monsieur Christiansen has not gone with her. Do not allow me to interrupt your work. Ah, you've had more than enough time, detective. So, how did you get on? If one is to discover the truth, one must proceed using the correct methods and cannot be rushed. I believe I know the painting you have matched with the... Do I? Well, I would say... This one. Monsieur is the Narch Narcissus. Why might they be like this particular piece? Do you also an have to answer the qu this question? Merit? Banker Thane. That's right! Although I shouldn't be surprised. Anyone else? Well... The painting for her would be... This? Not the answer. Then Walt Horse. No? Okay. Can I leave at all? Apparently not. Okay. Um. He may be the worker bee, or no, this one. Why yeah. might they be like this particular piece? Because he's uh, doing something for charity. That's right! Although I shouldn't be surprised. Anyone else? Let's see. Bishop? The Judgment Day, maybe? Why might they be like... Why? That's right! Although I sh Anyone else? Hmm... Patty Allen... Hmm. Well, maybe she is the... Huh. The worker bee? Maybe? Yeah. Why might they be like this? Reporter invited to gala orphan hard worker. That's right! Although I should. Anyone else? 
Oof, okay, we have three ladies, right? Um, I was a war back. Well, why is she not Jeanne d'Arc? I don't understand. Well, then has she has to be... This... Okay. Why might they be like the center of attention? That's right. Although I sh anyone else? Members of Warbeck? Uh, what do we have? Wild horse we have? And John Dark. Well, I didn't see her as John Dark, but let's try. Okay. Why might they be like curator? Okay. That's right. Although I shouldn't be surprised. Anyone else? Well, Betty Allen then is the wild horse. Why might they be? That's right. All the that's everyone. Well done. I should have known it'd be no challenge for you. I have faced many a more demanding challenge. But few quite so enjoyable. Hi, is he okay? I think something's wrong with him. I think he's <sighs> having a heart attack. He seems stable. Now's the time to get him to the infirmary. Oh, there's no need for that. I'm feeling much better already. Wouldn't it be best to telephone for a real doctor? Monsieur Demir was a field medic. What more of a professional is required? A field medic? Really? I th a field medic that has seen people in a lot worse states, who didn't have the luxury of a proper hospital. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to offend. I'm sorry. If I am being carted off, the unveiling must go on. I will not have this silly old man ruining the gala for everyone. You drive a hard bargain, Monsieur Aylesworth. I'd just like to say a few words. I'm sure you would. Thank you all for coming. Here at the Royal Edward Gallery, we are proud to present such wonderful works by some truly fantastic artists. And with much negotiation and pleading, we have been able to secure a most fabulous and individual piece. Standing here with you, unveiling today's centerpiece, the Penitent Magdalene, really is a special moment for both this museum and me personally. So, without further ado. Oh my. <gasps> Am I missing something here? Things just got interesting. It was. It, it, it should be. Is this some kind of joke? Evelyn, what's going on here? I. I. Oh. Trust you to have no idea. You've really done it this time, girl. She's done nothing. It's not her fault. By the grace of God, it's somebody's fault. I am quite sure Mademoiselle Warbeck is as surprised as us all. <gasps> Some... S'il vous plaît, everyone. Remain where you are. Please do not touch a thing. Monsieur Hastings, you saw me lock the door to the restoration room, we? Of course. I was by your side. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble for this. You are not responsible for the painting's disappearance. But who is? Do not allow any of the guests to leave the main hall. And what are you going to do? What is required? One's job 